Let's take a look at the first example. We have to perform the subtraction and give the answer in engineering notation. Now, look at the first number. My invisible decimal point is at the end of 34, okay? It's over here. At the left side of the decimal point, I have number which is between 1 and 999. I have exponent which is multiple of 3. So this is already in engineering notation. The number is expressed in engineering notation. In this case, my power of 10 is not multiple of 3. Okay, so this is not engineering notation. That's why I'm going to convert this power of 10, okay, this exponent, to negative 3. My exponent has to get bigger because negative 3 is greater than negative 4. Okay, my number is going to get smaller. It means I have to move my decimal point to the left according to the rule. Anytime exponent goes up, number will go down. Okay, because my exponent went up by 1, I have to move my decimal point once to left. And I'm going to have 34 times 10 to negative 3 minus 2.13 times 10 to negative 3. We got the same powers of 10, so we can perform the subtraction of these two numbers. I have 34.00 minus 2.13. Subtract. I have to borrow 1 from here. This become 10 and 9 over here. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 1 is 8. Bring down the decimal point. And I have 3 minus 2 is 1. And I simply copy down. So this is, this is my number and I'm supposed to copy down my power of 10. So my answer is going to look like this. 31.87 times 10 to negative 3. The number on the left side of the decimal point is between 1 and 999. And my exponent of power of 10 is multiple of 3. That's why this is the correct answer to my problem. Let's take a look at the second example. Look at the first number. We have power of 10, okay? The exponent of this power of 10 is one. We have to express the answer in engineering notation. The second number has power of 10 with the exponent zero. We said that anytime we want to express numbers in engineering notation, 10 to zero is acceptable. Okay, so that's why I'm going to convert this 10 to 1 to 10 to 0. My exponent is going to go down because I have to convert 1 to 0. My number has to go up. My decimal point is, is over here. In order to make this number bigger, okay, I have to move the decimal point once to right. That's why I'm going to have 20 times 10 to 0 minus 0.23 times 10 to to zero. Now I get exactly the same powers of 10, so I can perform the subtraction of these two numbers. So I have 20.00 minus 0.23. Okay, I have to perform the subtraction. I have to borrow one from here. This become 10 over here and 9, 9 over here. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 2 is 7. Bring down the decimal point and I have 9 and 1 over here. Okay, my final answer is 19.77 times 10 to 0. The number on the left side of the decimal point is between 1 and 999 and the power of 10 has exponent 0. Okay, so this is the correct answer to my problem.